So I think the biggest change in health insurance is actually not new. It's sort of a, a progressive change that's, hap that's happened over the past decade, which is increasing premiums, increasing deductibles, increasing out-of-pocket costs for patients. Uh, I think there's lots of reasons for these changes, uh, but certainly, um, in, at least in the employer market, it's driven by the empl employers needing to reduce costs. They have short-term incentives to reduce how much uh, they spend on healthcare, and the easiest way to do that is to shift costs to consumers, to have consumers put more skin in the game uh, and be cost conscious about their choices. I think consumers have mixed emotions about these plans. Um, so on the one hand, the idea that they face a very low premium at the time of signing up for a plan is very attractive, and many people therefore sign up for them, and they believe that they're healthy or are, are unlikely to use or to need services. And so that's a very positive kind of reaction. Um, on the other side, there's really two facets. So the first is that people tend not to understand the plans. The plans are very complicated, and people who are most at risk, those with chronic conditions, those who have lower income, um, those who, who are of non-white race or ethnicity, tend to select and use the plans in ways which the plans are not really designed to and leads them to worse care. So on the negative side, the plans cause confusion in and of themselves. 